think oh yeah that was it i think i took a long time so amongst being distracted and stuff going on at home and stuff mm-hmm. um i think it was precisely you know what i yeah i know i know i now recall what it was i think um even though i've also got out of my way to you know write as many tests as possible to make sure i don't have any regressions and things mm-hmm. um i think i was just really worried about making big swathing changes i wasn't mm-hmm. really sure how to do that but also keep everything working at the same time right and I think I think one day I just go through phases of like things just clicking constantly for my brain, mm-hmm. and I feel like I have to I have to pay attention to that. Mm. Um, and then sometimes I just go, well, my brain just just doesn't care or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's like I can't I can't turn it on and off. It's like a yeah I don't know how to explain it really. But anyway, I for for the longest time I just was like you know I know. I didn't want to add new stuff because, again, you get like an intuitive sense that, like, you know that you're just really just laying more cement on top of the tech debt, right. and eventually you're going to have to come in with your your drill and then take it all off, and then also get rid of the tech debt. So you're basically just giving yourself more work that you know you're going to have to deal with. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And it's always that balancing out. Like the pro- software projects are always this choice between how much work do you want to put in now, and then how much pain do you want to save yourself for the future uh-huh. and obviously and people that care about money always care about the, the immediate gains despite the fact that it's going to cost them 10 times more in the future mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um so so yeah i it was kind of the same thing i think i one day i was just like you know it's bugging me that i haven't really progressed this i want to have this vision i really thought i would get to a point before this time and i haven't so i think i just kind of i've just dove back in and then I started remembering how much I love the V language again, and then I was mm. like, you know what, I'm just gonna start making huge changes, and then now I kind of have more of a semblance of a plan. I don't really have an exact plan. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I have an overarching vision for the whole project, but I but I don't know day to day what's important until it kind of bubbles up to my brain and, and sort of waves itself at me and tells me, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think I think it's less, like right now, like I said, the to do comment thing was kind of that's the thing I really want the most as a function right now. But I can't do it yet because there's other things in the way that I know would be a, a better. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically just trying to set up. It's like foundations for a house, right? Like right. I need to, I need to make sure that I feel comfortable with the house being built on whatever I'm making. Right, um, right, right. You, you don't want you don't want to like focus on the the the, the fun fancy features and then. Yeah, exactly. Know. Yeah, I mean, I could, I could, uh, I could easily do all of the low hanging fruit, and yeah, you know, yeah. like I could implement all the motions under the sun. I could do like you know, twenty five D. XC5, I could do macros or something, but I know mm. fundamentally that that's just a bad idea because I'm not going to give people the the real solidity and and long term features and you know it's, it's, it's yeah I, I would be doing people I'm, I'm basically be you know like like a magician or something I'd be like oh look over here sparkly shiny stuff uh, but don't look over there but don't look behind my you know behind my curtain because right, I've got like yeah. a load of crap. Well, yeah, and if, right. the, if the foundation um, isn't good, like you might run into a point where you need to redo all of that stuff again anyway. So it makes more sense yes, to make sure I, the foundation to, is solid. Yeah, I, I don't want to rush anything. I, I just I want things to take as long as they take. I, I've I've been taking a lot of inspiration from. Weird. This is going to sound weird to say. I don't like Jonathan Blow. This is like a random tangent. <laughs> uh, uh, as a person, he just seems abrasive and a bit of a dick. Um. <laughs> But I, but I think that's good. I think in in a way, like, sorry, I think I think that's not true to say. Okay, so that's that's true to say what I just said. But because of that, I like him a lot. I right, think. right, like, right. I don't. I, I feel like I res- I respect him immensely, and I I I, th- I hope I can recognize when he's talking out of his ass, and when he isn't. Mm. And I also I'm also just inherently aware that he has been around for like you know it's just a fact that he's been a developer for a long time, and it's obvious if anyone takes two seconds to watch him program. But he's in his element. He knows what he's doing mm, mm-hmm. in nearly every sense, and I, I can't ignore that as like a, you know, if I want to have an idea about, I, I don't know how to explain it really. Um, I feel like what is it? Like I guess there's a phrase I could say something like, um, just because I respect what you have to say and I think it's profound, mm-hmm. doesn't mean that I like you. Right. I will care about yeah. anything else you say or whatever. Right. Like I'm. It's perfectly valid to appreciate someone's point of view without also agreeing with everything they say or liking them or something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, 
And I don't know why it was important for me to point out that, I, that I'm not like a massive. I, I, I think I'm just trying to say I'm not a massive Jonathan Bow fan as such. Sure, sure. But I do, I do often, I often find myself having his videos playing in the background. Mm -hmm. um, well, videos. He has like a big playlist of different programming videos, mm. and I really love having him just droning in the background because I feel like I'm, I'm hoping I'm just kind of picking up some sense of like programming wisdom via osmosis or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's very good at articulating the way he's solving the problems as well. Mm -hmm. Um. And so I, th I think it does actually help me weirdly, like having him, he's like my, uh, I don't know, he's like my talking rubber duck in a way. He's, he's, he's solving a completely different problem to me, um, but he's just, you know, I don't know. I, anyway, sorry, I'm just like, rambling again. <laughs> sorry, my bad. Um, no, you're all good, you're all good.